Hi, this is Joe from PowerOfAttorneyForm.com and today we're going to go over the main four Power of Attorney forms for the state of Georgia. Now, if you are unfamiliar with what Power of Attorney is, just very quickly, it's a legal document that allows you to choose somebody else uh, to make all financial and medical decisions on your behalf. So to get started, let's look on the left side of the screen. The Georgia Durable Power of Attorney form, which is highlighted there, is the most common type of power of attorney form uh, within the state. And what it does, it allows you to choose somebody else to act on your behalf for all financial powers within the state of Georgia. Now, they don't have to be able to act on all of them. It can just be some. But the main reason why this form is so useful is that if the principal and the principal is the person who is giving power to somebody else becomes incapacitated or just is in a state of uh, where they're not able to think for themselves mentally whether it be because of dementia, Alzheimer's, uh, whatever the medical condition may be this form stays valid so this is very popular among baby boomers as they're getting older. Uh, they're realizing that uh, it's a lot easier to have their son or someone else do their finances for them. Uh, but it can also be used for a, a, a ton of other things other than that. Uh, such as if you just have uh, a business partner and you want to each have uh, financial power over one of each other because someone might be out of town or you just never know. So the form that works well with Durable is the medical power of attorney form because just like the Durable, this form stays valid if the person is not able to think for themselves. And that's primarily what this is used for. If someone can't think for themselves, they have dementia, you know, you drive them to the doctor's office, uh, if it's a parent or a grandparent, aunt, or a relative, uh, and you're the one that's going to be making all the medical treatment decisions for them, facility decisions, uh, obviously in their best interests, and if they only if they instruct you on the power of attorney form specifically, the right to end medical treatment if they become a vegetable with no point of return. So these two forms work really well together uh, and are really popular. The next form is the general power of attorney form. Now, this is just like the durable form. It's for financial powers, but this is void if the principal cannot think for themselves anymore. So this is often, you'll see this with, uh, if someone has a lot of uh, real estate or they have a company, they'll have their attorney or an accountant, usually will have general power of attorney, uh, just to handle the, the business uh, financial affairs of say taxes and uh, say if you have an annual report for a company all these little things that you just don't get yourself bogged down doing or it could be like a husband and wife team uh, usually you'll have general power of attorney for one another um, and so this is a, still a very useful form not as popular as durable but still a great form to have and then last but not least, we have the limited power of attorney form. Now this is a great form, especially for real estate agents, if you're not in the office all the time, because this gives, lets you give somebody very specific power, uh, whether it be, say you get certified mail coming into the office and you're just not there all the time to sign for it. You give uh, limited power of attorney uh, to the legal assistant or to the assistant at the front desk that just gives them authority to sign for whatever comes through or say you need someone to pick up a car for you or anything you, you just never know but you don't exactly want them doing your banking transactions or anything like that then uh, this limited power of attorney form is very very useful so that's an explanation of all these four forms. If you're looking to get these forms legal, what you got to do is go down to your branch bank and get these forms notarized. 
I know Bank of America charges around eight to ten dollars if you don't have an account, but usually your bank will have uh, a notary, and if most often if they're a decent bank, they'll do the notarization for free. So, and after that, all you have to do, you don't have to file this with any government agency. Just keep it on you, and you're fine. If you have a medical pow of attorney form, I, just a tip I would give is give this to your primary care physician just so that if anything should happen to you, they'll be notified, they'll have this form, and then they can give it to the hospital, whoever's taking care of you, so that you know someone doesn't pop through the door that tries to start making all these decisions on your behalf when you just don't want them to. So that's it. These are the four main forms for the state of Georgia for power of attorney.